Yo, what up, internet? Welcome to Bricks and Beer, episode nine. Uh, welcome back, guys. It's been a little while. Um, if you watch the other ones, awesome. Uh, I guess I'll throw a link. I didn't grab a bass play. I kind of fucked up today. So there'll be a link to the other ones there. You can watch them if you want. You don't have to. Um, do you. So welcome back. First off, need to just fucking say this up front. Sorry for the last episode. Kind of sucked. Um, I don't think the content sucked, but uh, the, the technical aspects were not up to the typical par. And we have a really low bar here. So, like, the fact that there was under the bar is rather shitty. Sorry, guys. Uh, I think I fixed the problem. Number one, it's not hot as balls here. So, I think that'll help just in general. Uh, number two, uh, the audio should be better because it's not hot as balls, so I don't have the fan on. Um, if not, uh, that sucks. I'm still recording on my laptop. And, uh, number three, um, yeah, I did some computer shit, and it should have some magic effect. Um, so cheers, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, tell me what kind of beer you're drinking. Um, so we're gonna do the usual. We'll talk about the beer. Uh, we'll talk about the Lego. I do have a build. Um, I guess actually I have two builds to show you guys. And, uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about some other non-LEGO stuff. Um, I, I do have some official LEGO that I guess I'll show you, too. Uh, so, anyway, the beer. Um, I didn't pick anything special for tonight. I literally, like, grab beer out of my fridge because I'm lazy. I, I will drink your beers someday. Um, I have a list. I just, it's, I'm lazy. Uh, so, yeah, Strand Brew. Bam. Um, this is really glary. This is the 24th Street Pale Ale. Uh, I quite enjoy this. It's uh, very local to my neighborhood. Um, I live by the beach, and there's a lifeguard tower that you can't see. Uh, but it does say small batched, unfiltered. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a smooth beer. And uh, yeah, fucking enjoy yourselves. Drink some beer. Um, that's all I got about the beer. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, keep drinking. It's good times. So, bricks and beer. We should probably talk about the Lego, I guess. Uh, I'll show you a build. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, it's a car. And that's kind of weird and unorthodox for me. Um, so yeah, you know, it rolls. It rolls like a champ. Uh, you know, you can slide across the table. Uh, I am holding it underneath, so it's quite secure. And it's got, it's got some cool shit. A uh, big opaque windscreen. This is a, a Lambo Countach. Contouch, Kuntak, I think that's how you pronounce it, Kuntak, Kuntach, I don't know, it's, it's from the 80s, it's the Wolf of Wall Street car, uh, it's all about like making lots of money in Quaaludes, I guess, um, it's also like this car's been in fucking everything, right, it's in Miami Vice, uh, the Kung Fury film that came out, which if you guys haven't seen and you like anything from the 80s, click that link, go fucking watch that movie. Um, like, pause this, take a half hour, go watch this short film called Kung Fury. It's fucking rad. Um, but this is, you know, it's just, it's common. So, it's not from Kung Fury. I envisioned it from the Wolf of Wall Street. But it's also in Miami Vice and all this other shit. Um, so, yeah, it's a low-slung sports car. It's got a really nice grill. I like that. Um, it's got a really cool ass, too, because, like, it's got the angles. And uh, I don't know if you guys can read that. But the license plate says I Heart 80s, um, which is pretty sweet. The sticker is kind of exclusive, I guess, because it's from uh, the Rocket Raccoon poly bag, which, fancy, fancy. Um, so yeah, it's a car. And I, I'm assuming you guys aren't stupid, right? Like, you probably clicked a link, and it has an episode title, and you saw my shirt, and you looked at the front of the car, and you saw the badge, and you were like, oh, snap. That's a Transformer. And you're goddamn right, this is a Transformer. So let's talk Transformers for a second. Um, and this is kind of like where things are going to get a little weird, because this, in my mind, is the crossover episode between the two dorky fandoms that I'm a part of, which is the Transformers fandom and the Lego fandom. Um, so, Transformers. It's super cool. Um, there, there is a huge, huge Transformers community out there, which is wild. So, let's just start at the beginning. Like, Transformers, to me, is 
fucking this. Old school G1, robots in disguise, vehicles, like, amazing. This is where it all came from. This, if you don't know, is Power Master Optimus Prime. This is Optimus Prime in a bigger version of Optimus Prime with a robot stuck in his chest. And it's, this is glorious. This, everything about this is glorious. Uh, I'm not going to, like, review the Transformer toys for you as I throw parts of them on the ground. Uh, just, you know, there's shit tons of YouTube reviewers. Like, if you got here and you're a Transformer dude, you already know. Um, but yeah, you know, I, there's, there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, shout out to Bobby Skullface. That dude's fucking hilarious. He's kind of a hater. Um, but that's what makes him great. And he's a weirdo with a Skullface mask. Uh, so fucking, you can go check out Bobby Skullface over there. He's part of, uh, the Shattered Cast Uncut podcast, which I listen to, which is also kind of full of haters, but it's great. It's great. Um, so yeah, so Transformers, old school. There is some new school shit. Oh, I didn't. I fucked this up. I was gonna tease you guys with this because I was gonna say this is what this is based on. Um, this is a Lambo cone touch. This is breakdown. Uh, he's from the new Transformers. This is C Dub Combiner Wars, the often reviled Combiner Wars. But look at this shit, dude. This is like a fucking perfect replica of '80s cone touch, and it turns into a robot and an arm and a leg. Which, goddamn, that's crazy to me. Um, so yeah, the, the Transformer thing, like, I have a decent sized Transformer collection, so I've got very few G1s. Um, this is not my childhood Optimus Prime. My mom sold my childhood Optimus Prime. Right there. Right there. It just gutted me. She grabbed the wrong bin at a garage sale and sold all of my Transformers. Save one. Double dealer. Old school G1 double dealer, who is... My favorite Transformer. I mean, like, so, it, Double Dealer, for you guys not in the know. And I, if I had him, I would show you him, but he's elsewhere, geographically. Uh, I do have the new school one, but the new school mold is not as cool. Uh, so, Double Dealer is both a Decepticon and an Autobot, and he's got the engine robots. He's got two of them. So, he's like a double agent, but he's not really a double agent. The, the fiction, from what I've read, is he's a psycho. He actually has, like, two conflicting personalities, and they don't know what the other one's doing, um, which is kind of great. So he's, he's like a giant Russian missile launcher for both the, the Autobots and the Decepticons. And then, you know, when he's an Autobot, he's a robot, like, just regular robot. But he's cool. And his little, like, Power Master is a robot. But then the, the Decepticon version, he turns into a giant vulture, and the rocket is, like, this massive phallic rocket underneath the vulture. Oh, it's... it's money and his little engine partner his uh, power master turns into a fucking bat which is great so like that that was you know my transformers and then um most of those are gone that's the only surviving one i, I bought this one to avenge my childhood and i love this he's oh so amazing um so i got all kinds of transformers so when i was building this motherfucker um I referenced a lot of shit. I, I obviously referenced the new school C-Dub breakdown. I feel like it's okay. Like, my car mode took a lot of liberties. Like, this is a pretty good representation. This is a kind of wonky representation, but it, it's it got enough for me. And um, I guess I should back up about... No, no, well, okay. So, fuck, I'm all over the place tonight, guys. It's like... Don't know which way to go. Lego Transformers. Lego Transformers. So, I have built Lego Transformers before. Um, I built one that wasn't my design. It's based on a TR. Fucking TR. Cheers to you. He made like a super cool little jet fighter that turned into a robot. So I made a Decepticon version. Um, there's a link to mine right there. Uh, yeah. And then um, there's TR's original because his is money and TR's brilliant and like. He builds this shit for his kids. Like, I want TR as my dad. Like, come on, man. Um, that sounds weird. But it's not, because I'm not the only one. Because everybody on the internet that knows TR is like... He's like in the backyard, like drinking beer, barbecuing, fucking crazy Indian food, or like all kinds of weird shit. Like, Canadians, I guess, are cooler dads. It's getting weird, guys. Drink some beer. <laughs> so anyway, um... 
I tried to build a car Lego robot converter, a transformer, and um, it was, God, I, I'd like seven years now, and I, I wanted to do this model team scale size, and it miserably failed. It was blue. Um, it kind of had somewhat of a similar transformation scheme as this one, but uh, it, it was not nearly anywhere as cool. Um, and not, not to say that this is cool, which means a lot. So, yeah. Um, I did try to also build another uh, Lego Transformer, this time not a car. This time I wanted to do a city bot, because I felt like that would be a little bit easier, and I could do it, like, micro-scale and sort of really trick people and, like, post the city, and, uh, you know, and then it would turn into, like, a Metroplex. Um, so I never finished it. I built the head three years ago now, which is crazy. So there's a link um, to the aborted fucking Transformer. I, I still have the head. It's in a bin, and I was going to grab it for this, and I planned poorly. Um, that's how we do things here, live, unedited, raw, like sushi. Um, hopefully not all technically fucked up this time. And so, yeah, yeah, so I, I built that, and obviously, you know, the head was cool, and the little city chest piece was cool, but I, I didn't get much further. Um, the joint technology I had at the time was really, really limited, and I, I didn't really, like, have anything to reference. So I never had any of the city bots as a kid. I didn't buy the new Metroplex. I don't own any of the city bots. Um, Scorponok is by far the coolest. If you guys don't know who Scorponok is, just look it up. It's, it's legit. Um, fucking Scorponok in the actual Headmasters cartoon, that's the only Japanese Transformer show I've seen. He's great, because like for 80% of the show, he's just like glowing eyes in the dark, and he has a crazy voice, and then six shots just murdering fools left and right. Um, it's great. So, the Headmasters, pick it up. It's like 12 bucks on Amazon. I think that's like the only recent DVD purchase within the last like five years that I've made. Um, and I might have to buy more because I've never seen the, the where this dude came from, the, the Breast Force, Master Force series. Uh, I don't really want to see Victory. Victory just seems too super robot y to me. Um, but yeah, so back to Transformers. Enough about aborted attempts. So you got your new school ones, and everybody hates on these. And this is where I want to talk about something. So this is where it comes together, right? Some of you are watching this. Well, most of you are watching this because you're into Lego. And you're like, oh, cool. Andrew's going to bullshit some more about Lego. And maybe he'll show off a build. And that, that happens. And some of you are here because you got here because of a cross-pollination through the Transformers fandom. Now, I, don't, I, I guess technically I belong to TFW2005. They're like the prime forum site. I, I'm posted there like twice, really about sightings, trying to find these, um, but the, the thriving community, and this is where it's fucking cool, is Instagram, and uh, I'm going to throw this out there, and I, I kind of debated about this, because I'm going to tell YouTube my Instagram, and I'm going to share it with you, and that's weird, I guess, because it's, it's I, I view Instagram as like a more private thing, but... I do all this stupid Transformer shit there, and I know all these random people that I've never met and only interact through Instagram. And, uh, yeah, so A.G. Lee, so that's A.G., like Godzilla, L-E-E, 13, one, three. Um, look it up. You'll find me. I post, like, minimal Lego shit, really only, like, cool, finished stuff. And then I post some Transformers bullshit, like action figures, and then some, like, random beach shit of, like, me and my wife running around doing shit. So, uh, if you're on Instagram, fucking hit me up, dudes. Uh, I could use more followers, I guess. I don't, does that mean something? Um, so speaking of Instagram, though, and cars, if you are on Instagram, and you're into Lego at all, you probably know a dude, and I'm probably gonna mispronounce his name, but you should check him out. His name is, uh, Peterus Sprogis. I'm not gonna link it, because I'm who links to Instagram through YouTube. Uh, but yeah, like, go check him out. He builds fucking awesome cars. So, the Transformers fandom, it's a weird thing, because I'm obviously really deep in the LEGO fandom. And they're both nerdy, dorky subcultures, with their own quirks and their own things. 
but they're kind of similar, but they're kind of not. And here's why. So, I used to think that we, meaning fans of LEGO, a fools, adult fans of LEGO, were the most self-entitled, bitchy, whiny, man bitches around. We're not. We are. Trust me, we are. Oh, we're, we bitch about everything. But we're not the worst. The worst, by far, are my fellow Transformer fans. Oh, God. It's, it's crazy. And I listen to all these podcasts, and, like, I sort of participate in the forums, and I see how, like, the online community... And Facebook is crazy. Facebook is, like, that's where all the Transformer action is happening outside of Instagram. It is, it's just so full of, like, vile hate and vitriol and, like, just shitting on each other and, like, shitting on each other about, like, your opinions about transforming robots. Which, to me, and I've heard many people that are on podcasts who are probably pretty fucking reasonable people, um... Again, Shared Cast, you should go listen to that if you're at all into Transformers, especially if you're into third party, like, that's where it's at. Um, the, the TFW podcast, though, the what the fuck, WTF at TFW, um, there's a dude, Vangelis, he's like a huge YouTube dude, uh, you can check him out. Bam! I'm gonna stop putting links up, because this is gonna get really annoying in post. Um, but Vangelis is cool, and, like, it's, it's just a very, like, active community. But all these podcasts just talk about, like, fuck, everybody's just shitting on each other, and, like, everybody hates things. And we, we do the same thing as LEGO fans, but here's the thing. So, like, as a LEGO fan, if there's not a character that comes out, like, you don't get a X. You can make one. Just build one. Like, fucking, they're never going to make Ghost of the Shell LEGO sets. I'll just build some Ghost of the Shell LEGO. Fuck yeah. Like, I, I did that with Star Wars before they got the Star Wars license. Like, that's the beauty of LEGO, right? So you can make anything. And then there's no, like, exclusivity thing about it. Like, there is. There's exclusive sets. And everybody bitches. And, like, when I see my lug email list just light up about, like, San Diego Comic Con exclusives or something, I just want to fucking murder people. Because it's like, there's never been a thing that has come out that I've been like, fuck, I didn't get that, and I needed that. But it's because I'm not a minifig guy. I don't have, like, a completionist mindset. I'm just like, oh, they're just figs, throw them in the drawer, fucking build some dudes later, ghost of the shell dudes. Um, so, like, we don't have that void. Whereas, like, the Transformer dudes, they got one company, they got Hasbro, and they, they put out toys. And, like LEGO, they put out a variety of different type of toys within the theme of Transformers. Let alone, like, the massive, giant corporate of Hasbro. But, like, LEGO puts out Duplo. And, like, I don't get upset that they're putting out Duplo. I'm, like, dumbing down my, my passion because they're still putting out what I want, the good shit. And I can still get it. And I don't have to go to third party. Like, there is third party in Brick Arms and some minor little things. But, like, for the most part... Legos either responded completely, so, like, all the brick arms shit, like, half the Lego guns that have come out totally meet the need. And you can stay a purist, and you get to, like, raise your purist flag and be like, woo, yeah, fucking only Lego. Or you could just use the brick arms and, like, not give a shit, and, you know, whatever, it's fine. But it's not, like, people aren't, like, trying to burn brick arms to the ground, or there's not the brick arms elitists who are, like, Fuck you and your shitty Lego guns. Like, they're just pandering and children's toys, and I'm an adult and I want a high end collectible. Like, there's nobody that says that. Like, the Brick Arms kids are literally kids for the most part, and they're kids, and like, nobody gives a shit. So it's, it's like all good. Like, it's easy flowing through the Lego community. Transformers? No. Fire Wars? Just bombs everywhere. Um, and it's because third party. Because the fans are so demanding that there is a need for masterpiece everything. So there's all these companies. And trust me, I want some. I want to spend thousands of dollars on fucking combiners and like all this amazing shit that comes out. But I don't. I buy the Hasbro product. I buy like this is so this little dude. Let's let's talk about this dude. So he becomes a, a robot and he also becomes a leg. Um He's pretty simplistic when he becomes a leg. Just fold over the, the front of him. There's a port. There's a 
hand foot gun, which everybody shits on, but like, this works enough for me. I wish it had a tilt, an ankle tilt. That, that annoys me, but, you know. So, this is Menasaur. He's the Stunicons. This, to me, even though he's like a Flopopotamus, this is fucking amazing. Because for the price of this, I'd get one of these dudes. Third party. Now, Grant, the third party one is way better. It's like totally better. And if, if this is your thing, if all you do is Transformers and you have a wall of Transformers, like this big ass wall of Lego, I get it. I totally get it. And I, and I, I think the thing is that that's just weird is like, I don't understand why they don't just all fucking hang out and be like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's just get the best Transformers, which some of them do. Um, so yeah, the, the Transformers scene's weird. Um, big fucking awesome community, though. The real dudes who are fucking doing it, though, Realm of Collectors, uh, bam, shout out, there's their podcast. They do these like live Google Hangouts. I've, I've never been on their live Google Hangouts, but I'm all part of the weird Instagram Decepticon click, you know, shit. Um, so yeah, Instagram, Transformers, old school, new school, I, and like, yeah, okay, so let's, let's dive into this for a second, and then we'll, I know you guys want to see the robot, so we're going to get back to the Lego, I'm just going to transform this dude into a robot real quick, and uh, it doesn't take very long, he's not a very complicated Transformer, head comes up, comes over, there's this like stupid butterfly double hinge thing that's awful, um, the legs split, and then, you know, they kind of come around. There's like a, an arm inside there that allows it to swing around, and it splits. And it goes in here, and the feet fold out, which is pretty nice. And the, the spoiler folds down for the, uh, the heel spur, which is pretty cool. Like, I'm, I'm impressed by that. I hate this butterfly hinge, but, like, at the same time, I'm really impressed by everything that this thing can do. Um, so yeah, here's Breakdown, and um, yeah, you know, he's a robot, and he comes with a sword, which is cool, and it, it plugs into the side of the car, and people are like, fuck you, I hate that, he needs a gun, um, which, I guess, I mean, I have a lot of Transformers, so like, I could just put a gun in his hand and not freak out about it, um, but the beauty is, if I build this out of Lego, I can do whatever the fuck I want, right? That's that's the cool part. So, the big moment. Um, I'll transform this for you guys. He turns into a robot. Uh, I'll post some photos. This is probably going to go poorly to try to do this on camera. Um, he's not so bad from the bottom. Like, he's not not a lot of robotness sticking out of here, which is pretty cool. You can see this is where I'm holding it. This is... Uh, actually like his waist piece, but it, it's a great like car swooshy handle. And he's got the, the windscreen, and then there's like this engine sloping stuff back here. So the, the key parts to this are weird, because you have to do it in a very specific order. So there's these fender pieces right here, and these things are the top of the shoulder ball joints. So this kind of like fills the gap here, and if you don't fold this down first, it's a total pain in the ass to pull out the arms. And you can kind of see the floppiness there. It's a, it's a little unfortunate. Those are the fingers way the fuck up in there. I feel like they look mechanical enough to be hidden. This is where, like, the car shape falls apart, though. It's all, like, a fuckery of angles. There's no, like, clear door handle or anything. Um, there are mirrors, and this is technically part of the transformation, too. See that? Ah, oh, clever. Um, so yeah, so you pull these things out, and then you can untab the arms, and the arms come out. So see, it kind of like gets a flying car mode. Actually, I didn't even realize I could do that until just now, and it doesn't look fully retarded. Um, so yeah, swoosh a car, bro. Uh, Apparently there's a lug nuts contest, something about elves. I don't know. I, I posted this to lug nuts like ten minutes before I started recording this, and I'm probably not going to upload this till tomorrow. So I'm kind of trolling the lug nuts group and like posted this in their weird elf contest. Um, so fucking Lino or Nathan or whoever the fuck the elves are, if you're watching this, flying car mode, bros, extra bonus. 
So the real cool part about this, I'm, I'm going to tuck the arms back in just to show you guys so this doesn't fucking flop all over the place. And uh, my design goals with this were kind of ambitious, but not really. So I wanted to build the, the Wolf of Wall Street car, obviously. I wanted to have no parts forming. I only have one part that technically comes off that's not like an accessory, which is pretty good. And um, I wanted it to not look like a fucking robot as a car, and not look like a car as a robot. And the car part, I think, is more successful than the robot part, because the robot part, as you'll see, has a bunch of car parts hanging off of them, which is super shitty. And that's like where Transformers fans get shitty, because like, if they get a Transformer, and the transformation is whack, then they just, that's all they got. Unless you're like a really ambitious dude. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm pulling open this crazy windscreen hinge here, and you can see there's a head in there. Oh, and this already fell out. And this is one of his accessories. It kind of looks like a wrench, kind of. Um, he's not Wheeljack. He's a Decepticon. Uh, this also probably comes from, like, I wanted Masterpiece Exhaust. He's the weird Diaclone Decepticon out of the Masterpiece Wheeljack mold. Couldn't get it. Um... I, I'm, I could get it, I could just buy it on the internet, but like I couldn't get it easily. I actually knew a dude that went to Japan, and I was like, pick this up for me, and he was like, no dice. Um, so, you know, being me, like, this is my masterpiece exhaust, except he's not exhaust. But he is a white car, turns into a bad robot. It's uh, starting to heat up a little bit in here, so uh, we're, we're just going to keep it rolling. Um, so in there, as you can tell, there's some robot, and uh, pull these out. Those will kind of come down, and then this will fold in. So this ginormous, massive chunk is the backpack, and it's unfortunate. Like, any sort of backpack is always shitty, right? Like, you don't want a robot with a giant backpack, but it is what it is. I mean, like, I, I couldn't do this any other way easily. I'm like, he's got a backpack. You see? And, and people shit on this one. And I'll show you some other Transformers, kind of. Because, like, there, there is better ways to do all of this. But, you know. So there we go. Arms out. This is where shit gets kind of wonky. Here's the one peated piece. The one part of parts forming that's here. I could just leave this um, little tab sticking out here. But I, I kind of don't like this little... Ah, there you go. You see that little... Where the fuck did it go? There, that little thing. Um, I like to take that off and point that down. It's a purely aesthetic thing, which is really dumb, because what this is, is the back of the, one of the thighs. He has ginormous thighs. Um, but you have to fold this whole spoiler thing up, and I didn't want to not have a spoiler. That was a big deal for me, to have a spoiler. And this is a pain in the ass, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. Uh, so I'm unfolding the back of the car, and now I'll come up here, and I'll do this one at a time, because this is kind of a total shit show sometimes. So I'm folding this part of the leg down, and I'm going to turn it, and reposition it. Oh, and I, I already kind of fucked up the order that you do this in. So I've got one leg transformed, kind of, he'll spur out, twist around this foot. I'll do the other one facing the right way. Um, so the pelvis needs to rotate entirely, so I'm just going to fold this down, click this in, eh, see, Whoop. and then rotate this entire bottom half. And in theory, it doesn't fall apart and crumble in my hands, which is kind of happening so far, which is pretty good. So we got kind of a hot mess going on down here. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Oh, I was I'm fucking paying attention to not you. And, uh, yeah, like, Transformer reviewers, that's where YouTube thrives. Because, like, Transformer reviews are super helpful for understanding how the toy works, as opposed to just, like, buying it and being like, this thing's a fucking piece of shit. Um, you actually get to see, because, like, the, the challenge is to make the robot 
and to make the car, or the alt mode, whatever it is, if it's a unicorn or a buffalo, and there are weird-ass animal ones, and um, to not have it look like a total piece of shit in either mode, and kind of have it be in disguise, at least. So here he is. Um, he's kind of like run amok, I guess, spiritually, because he's a white car and he's a Decepticon. Here he is next to Breakdown. Um, so people's real fucking problem with Breakdown is like, these are big ass hollow legs, right? See right in there? So I didn't want hollow legs. And they're not too hollow. They do have like a, a gap back here in there, but then you know it's full. There's no like cheapness. Um and this is just because like cost. Like they they have to do this and the engineering behind this. Um and then, you know, he, he doesn't have wrist swivels. So mine has ball jointed wrists. Granted, the ball joints are extremely limited because they have to hide behind this big fucking sleeve thing. Um, he does kind of look like he's wearing the Seinfeld puffy shirt deal, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so here's this dude. I'm going to stand him and hopefully he doesn't fucking fall all over the place and crash and burn because that will be unfortunate if he does. Oh, there you go. And it's hot, so I'm going to drink some beer. So stare at the robot head, because uh, that'll be important. So this is the version I went with. Um, mono lens. He's got some sticker action. No mouth, just the faceplate. Little antenna. I'll show you. Uh, I saved these, because I, I kind of like prototypes. Um, so here's a two-eyed version. Here's a... A much different mono-eyed version. I flipped the beak thing on this. This is a little bit more compressed, which is kind of cool. Um, this looks too much like Optimus Prime with a visor to me. It's too thin. So we need to have like a, a bulkier head. So let's talk about the robot. And like the car mode, the car mode had to make some sacrifices. This has to make some sacrifices. The biggest one it's these huge, gigantic thunder thigh dealios. Like this, it, it's unfortunate. The other thing is the knees. So this is how the knees work. There's like a double jointed ball joint in there. So it does the S curve. So it goes back. You can't see it because there's this huge fucking piece of armor, armor there. Um, so he sits pretty nicely, but these ball joints, they, they don't ratchet, they suck. Like, they're okay, they're really poseable, but for how much weight this has to hold, this is fucking out of control. Um, I was gonna grab a mini land fig. A mini land fig is about that dude. So he's, he's fucking huge. Um, and this is pretty heavy, and he's got a lot of weight on the back, and he's got these gigantic pantalones. So he's gotta support a lot of weight. So that, that's where, if like this was a, production release toy, everybody would hate on that. The other thing that sucks is these tires. So these tires are rad. They're from a very expensive set that I bought for not a lot of money off a coworker. Um, oh, the other thing. So the arches are super nice. They come from the same set. It's actually another Lambo. It's a Lambo Gallardo. And there's only two that come in there. And there's four on this. The only other set that has it is a General Grievous set. And this is the weirdest shit that's ever happened to me. I tried to buy a Lego part, and I couldn't. There's none. There's none at all. Anywhere. In the world. Like, on Bricklink, apparently Brick Owl's a thing. Morrow checked. Nothing. No dice. I could buy the, the big fucking $150 set for two parts. That'd be really stupid. That's not gonna happen. So, um, get your act together, Brickling. What the fuck? So what I did, you can see it's white, kind of. My camera's not the greatest. But you're not, like, Andrew, those are yellow. They are yellow. Those inside ones are yellow, and there's a sticker over here. And it's just a hair off. Like, you can tell with the human eye. But it's so panely with all the Lego. Like, it's close enough. It works. Um, so yeah. The chest also is a little unfortunately concave here. There's a big gap. The reason why is this head folds all the way down, so I need to allow clearance for this 
headbanging action. Um, which, you know, he's silver and purple. He's a Decepticon. He's a robot. It works well enough. Uh, we're going to stand him. Hopefully he stands again. And I'll show you the wrenches, which are not wrenches. These are little pistols that our little robot friend here can shoot you with. He's got little gats. Oh, hopefully this doesn't fall and break everywhere. Oh, it totally broke. I tore his head off. Fuck, man. Um, so yeah, there's a pistol. I'm gonna put his head back on. He deserves to have a head. So there you go. Uh, there's the other one. I'm not gonna transform the other one. You fucking get the idea. Um, anyway, so, more than meets the brick, see, eh, Lego Transformer, um, this is pretty cool, so, I'm, I'm proud that I did this, it was an experience, it's not fucking easy, like, this shit kinda sucks to do, but now that I've done this one, maybe I'll do another, maybe it'll be easier, so, yeah, fucking back to the 80s with my robot friend here, He's going to look deep into your soul right now. And, um, yeah, you know, Cybertron and shit. Uh, so, yeah, let's, here's, you know, breakdown. Everybody shits on this. I got all kinds. Like, this is rad. This, this is really what I should have modeled after. Because, like, I'm just going to show you one thing, which is amazing. So, this part flips up, right? And then the foot, the heel spur, folds into itself. And it folds around. And that covers up the bottom of the car. Yeah, you can't see it. See? Bottom. Which is crazy, because you didn't need to do that. I mean, granted, it's got the pipes, which he needs on the arm, or the leg. Uh, but, fuck, man. Like, this is great. And it's solid as shit. Like, you look at this dude's legs, and, like, there's no cheapy hollowness. So I get the fan aggravation. Like, I get it, dudes. I understand. Just be nice to each other. So, fucking Transformers. That's it. Um, I got one last thing. I'll show it to you. It's stupid. Uh, I'm trying not to do, like, set reviews. I'm trying not to buy anything. I happened to buy this. I bought it for two reasons. One, it was a dollar. It's not going to be a dollar for you. It was a dollar for me. This is the Ninjago Spin... No, Air Jitsu Wraith. The bad guy. Uh... It's like $11. I had 10 bucks in credit at Toys R Us from buying Transformers. Um, so it was a dollar to me. And what it is, is Ninjago, I guess, got tired of the ripcord thing on the table. So now they're putting it in the air. Um, it's just, all right. There's like a spinny thing. There's a handle. Um, the reason why I bought this, besides the fact that it was a dollar, is it comes with a new color of glow in the dark green and it has this crazy slimer face printed on that which is great and there's glow in the dark swords and tile and this big spinny thing is glow in the dark but the real reason to buy any of these is the core not the figure the figure's all right he's got clear pants see clear pants eh, he's got a new head thing which looks weird to me um, but, comes with this, and this is a new windscreen, and this is going to be super useful to me, and, um, you also get this part, which might be useful to some people, it kind of looks vaguely Gatling gunish. um, so yeah, buy some air jitsu if you have hyperactive kids, uh, oh, <laughs> I guess since, uh, we're going to fucking almost be done here, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some air jitsu, guys. Fucking get ready. Drink some beer, because this is going to be wild. Live and uncut. Anything could happen. Alright, that's it. Episode 9. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.